Okay, in this video, we're going to configure FortiGate, all the basic configurations. We're going to create a DHCP server, and we're going to create a firewall rule that allows PC2 to have access to the internet. First step, we're going to console into FortiGate and assign port 1 a static management IP address. We're going to log in as admin. We're going to type config system interfaces. We're going to edit port 1. We're going to set mode to static. Set IP to 192.168.0.1/24 and we're going to allow HTTP HTTPS and ping. And so now from PC1, we're just going to make sure that it's been configured with an IP address, which is 192.168.0.2, with a gateway of 192.168.0.1, which is port 1. We're going to console into PC1. And from the address bar, we're going to type HTTP 192.168.0.1, which is the IP address of FortiGate. Now from here, we're going to type admin and the password that we set. We're going to hit later for setup, press OK. And now we are in the web admin GUI of FortiGate. So that's step two, access FortiGate GUI. Step three is to create a static route to the internet. I'm just going to go to network, static routes, create new, and our, in, our exit interface is going to be port three. So interface port three, close, destination is quad zero for everything, and we're just going to hit OK. Step four, finish addressing scheme for port two and port three. We're going to go to network interfaces. We're going to go down to port two. And for port two, it's going to be 10, 0, 0, 1, slash 24. And we're going to give it an alias of local area network. We're going to allow HTTPS, ping, and SSH. We're also going to create a DHCP server for step five. And we're going to give it an address range of 10, 0, 0, 10 to 10, 0, 0, let's say 50. The default gateway is the same as interface IP and for DNS server, we're just going to specify an external DNS server, 8888. Status is enabled, press OK. And that's it for port 2. Now we're going to go to port 3. Now port 3 is just a DHCP client. And we're going to name it Wide Area Network. Make sure it's enabled. And we're going to allow HTTPS and ping. Press OK. And let's see, it should receive an IP address. There we go. Now, step six, create a firewall policy to allow internet access from PC2. We're going to go to policy objects, firewall policy. Now, by default, everything is actually denied on a FortiGate firewall, so we have to explicitly configure a firewall policy to allow certain protocols. So from here, we're going to hit Create New. We're going to name this Internet Access. And incoming interface is going to be port 2. 
and outgoing interface is going to be WAN, which is our port 3. We're actually just going to change the name to LAN to WAN. Source will be all. Destination will just be all as well. And for service, we have to allow HTTP, HTTPS, as well as DNS. Action accept. Make sure NAT's turned on. And we're just going to make sure that this policy is enabled. Press OK. Okay, our firewalls, our firewall rule is set up. Step seven, we just have to verify internet connectivity from PC2. So from PC2, first we have to make sure that it's getting an IP address from the DHCP server. So this line here, I just uncomment it out. And we hit save, apply, OK. And we'll just wait for the interface to come up. So now we're going to verify internet connectivity from PC2. We're going to just go um, console into PC2. First, we're going to verify that it did receive an IP address from the DHCP server that we created earlier. As you can see, it did receive an IP address from that range. So from the web browser, if we type in www.google.ca, we should be able to access the internet. But um, since we've only allowed internet access, HTTP, HTTPS, and DNS, we shouldn't be able to ping google.ca. So let's give that a try. And as you can see, the ping is not going through. Even with an IP address, the ping is not going through. But for just general web access, it's completely working.